today i'll be teaching as how to do a regression analysis in eviews the work file is on the screen where i've got log of gdp log of employment and cpi gdp year is a dependent variable employment and cpi are independent variables so to do the analysis first select the dependent variable so with the help of uh, control key i am selecting gdp employment and cpi sorry gdp employment and cpi with the help of right tab click open from there move open as equation so it comes on the screen so you need not type let everything be as default and later click okay the results appear on the screen where the dependent variable is gdp the method is least square the sample is between 1980 to 2005 the observation is 26 you have got employment cpi and the constant so how to interpret the result in the case of employment it is significant because the p value is less than 0.05 but cpi is not significant because the p value is greater than 0.05 so how to interpret this coefficient as employment increases by 1% the gdp also increases by 0.77% for cpi you can just say that it is not significant next you have to report the adjusted r square so 97% of variation in gdp is due to the employment next we have to move on to f statistics it is significant proving that the model is fit next we are moving on towards durbin watson where you find the values 1.23 that also shows it is free from serial correlation this is how you have to report your analysis further we have to do the residual diagnostics for that move to view scroll down to residual diagnostics from there move on to normality test see the value of jacobera it is 0.64 and the p value so p value is greater than 0.05 so it can be inferred that the residues of the test are normal the next one we have to go and find out serial correlation again get back to residual diagnostics from there move on to serial correlation lf test let the lag be as default and click okay you have got brush godfrey serial correlation lm test you have to take into consideration the observed r square and the respective p value so here the p value is greater than 0.05 so again you can say it is free from serial correlation the last one is heteroscedasticity for that again go to view scroll down to residual diagnostics from there move on to heteroscedasticity test so you will be using brush pegan godfrey test and let everything be as default and click okay again here also the observed r square is 0.214 and the respective p value is greater than 0.05 so in short the results prove that it is free from serial correlation heteroscedasticity and the residues are normal and it proves that the model is fit this is how you have to interpret your results in your project or dissertation or thesis thank you for listening